Hi to everyone. Uh, it is a pleasure to have all of you with us uh, for the fourth uh, year that we organized this uh, Taking a Stock conference, as it was said at the opening. Uh, it is a conference organized by the European Observatory of Memories together with the uh, House of European History and the Jean Monnet House. Uh, both from the European Parliament and uh, with the cooperation and uh, collaboration of the uh, European Commission and the EACEA agency, which is the, the, um, the organization managing, as you know, this uh, new SERP uh, program where the remembrance policies are uh, placed. Uh, so um, unfortunately, this year it's only an online event and um, uh, we are happy also to have a new uh, partner this year, which is the Institute of Federalist, Federalist Studies, Altieri Spinelli from Italy. Uh, buongiorno, Mario. It's, it's a pleasure to have you uh, among us this year. And uh, this is a special collaboration with, uh, with the uh, Instituto Spinelli uh, this year has a special uh, meaning. Since um, from Euro, um, we have a network of partners, uh, 53 partners uh, so far, uh, with uh, which we develop different activities from research and analysis to debate, such as this uh, online conference where we give the floor to all attendees to put questions and, and to share thoughts and, and, and comments. Uh, to citizens' participation, we have a special focus on, on youth participation. Every year we organize at least two or three activities with um, youngsters from different uh, European countries. And also, and this is the point where I wanted to, 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 to go, is dissemination strategies to reach and to involve um, uh, citizens in, in, uh, in terms of memory. So uh, uh, giving uh, uh, EU citizens the possibility to, um, uh, to think and, and, and to... Uh, uh, participate in, in, in memory uh, activities. Uh, with this aim, uh, since two years ago, we developed a new series of publications uh, devoted to uh, remember those um, main, the, the main pillars of, of the uh, current uh, European Union, the main historical pillars of the current Union. And uh, last year we uh, published for the, for the first uh, issue of this uh, series, which was devoted to the Schumann Declaration, the 70th anniversary of the Schumann Declaration, which is considered, as you know, one of the founding um, um, documents or, or initiatives of the nowadays union. And this year we are commemorating the, the 80th anniversary of uh, so-called Bentotene Manifesto. Um, this is also uh, one of the uh, initial ideas that finally led to what we understand today as the European Union. And uh, together with our uh, expert uh, colleagues, uh, which are the real experts on, on this matter, we um, promoted this uh, second uh, publication. Just let me show you uh, very briefly how the, this publication looks like online. But uh, today, precisely today, we will have in our hands, the hard copy uh, edition, the printed edition of this booklet um, devoted to remember the, the, the manifesto uh, promoted by Altiero Spinelli and, and his colleagues in, in, in the prison of Bentotene. Just, uh, I wanted to, uh, 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 let me share. I hope, can you see this? So this is the, the how the online um, edition looks like. Here you can have the, um, all the summary with the different uh, articles that our Italian and, and French colleagues uh, contributed with. And uh, once inside, you have the, the, the chance to either, um, read the articles and also to uh, 
see the selection of uh, images that was uh, conducted uh, by the Italian colleagues together with all of us. So just uh, this short presentation for you to know. And now I give the floor to Philippe Legan, our colleague in, uh, from the Jean Monnet House, and um, uh, to Mario Leone, director of the Spinelli Institute in Italy. So um, I stop sharing. OK, so the floor is your, Philippe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Oriol. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you had uh, uh, already the opportunity maybe to visit virtually the Jean Monnet House. Uh, I am there today. Uh, uh, it's a pity that we cannot meet uh, physically, but I, we hope that uh, in the course of next year and for the next Taking Stock event of, ne of next year, it will be at least possible to to meet now and for the those of you who never came uh, to visit the, the Jean Monnet house. Uh, we are sitting here in, we are very lucky actually, we are sitting here in the very place where Jean Monnet uh, uh, first conceived the, the first uh, community, European community of coal and steel in the, in the 1950. Uh, and it's uh, of course a memory place and every day we have the opportunity may, maybe to reflect on uh, uh, sitting uh, uh, just upstairs of the where the, everything was uh, conceived. Uh, I often uh, have this opportunity to reflect about the, the great project that was invented here. But of course, uh, as uh, Oriol mentioned, it's important, and, and we also work a lot with citizens, with young people, but with uh, uh, the general public, and even with uh, our colleagues from the uh, institutions, the, the, the civil servants from the institutions or, for the, or for, from the member states. So it's important to, with them uh, to evoke, as Oriol mentioned, uh, memory, the memory, uh, the collective memory of our Europe, which is, uh, uh, first of all, not known most of the time, not uh, uh, taught at school. And uh, we had already the opportunity to mention this uh, earlier this morning, how important it is to, to teach history uh, of, the, of Europe at school. And of course, uh, we need some, uh, also some affect, some, 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 uh, important um, uh, events, milestones, pillars, as Oriol just mentioned, uh, uh, where to, 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 to have this magical uh, uh, idea uh, transform into reality. So, in fact, uh, we consider that the Vento Tene Manifesto that was uh, written by Spinelli and his friends uh, when during their time uh, in the in this uh, remote uh, prison of this island of Ventotene uh, is an important uh, first milestone uh, of the European uh, integration history, and uh, of course our colleague Mario from from the Instituto uh, uh, Spinelli will explain why. But for us, it was very important to uh, uh, put uh, um, uh, an emphasis on this for the 18th, uh, uh, 80th uh, anniversary of, the, of this uh, document, which was drafted in 1942. Uh, and you see that, um, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, I mean, in a, in a period where uh, everybody was at war, and there were some visionaries who would uh, already imagine the world and imagine Europe after the war, after uh, the collapse of the Nazi regime and all the fascist uh, regimes, because they were confident that it will happen. And, what, and Jean Monnet and Spinelli, were, uh, they, they didn't know each other at the time, but they were uh, on, the, on, on both sides of the Mediterranean, they were uh, working on the same project, uh, more or less, because in 1942 and 1943 as well, Jean Monnet was in Algiers working for the General de Gaulle after the uh, liberation of North Africa, of the French uh, territories of North Africa by the, the Allies. 
And he was working also on this project that will eventually uh, become the project of the uh, first European community of corn and steel. And he drafted already a map with all everything on it uh, about the coal fields and so on, and already a text which was the the embryo, so to speak, of the of the future com community. So, uh, and you see that um, Spinelli and his friends they were right across the Mediterranean on this island, and they were also having the same kind of project. So uh, we can see that these men at the time they were visionary. And it's important to remember that because most of the time when you teach Europe at school, uh, the teachers, they begin with the treaties, you know, 1957 uh, uh, treaties of Rome and so on. But okay, it could be very uh, uh, difficult for the students to learn about this uh, uh, legislation and so on, uh, what, what is all about these treaties. But, but it's important not to, to forget where it comes from. And it comes from these ideas of these people who were suffering from the war, who had uh, their own, uh, and in the case of Spinelli, even more, they were, they, they were in prison for their ideas, and they were already confident in the future, and they were reflecting about uh, peace and about democracy and about freedom. So it's very important. I think it was uh, the main um, uh, purpose of all this was to talk and to remember this and it may be in France Spinelli is not very well known so thanks to the Instituto it will be now more uh, and uh, it's important not to to forget about this because uh, Europe was already uh, in the mines before the, the treaties so uh, last time uh, last year we we uh, celebrated the anniversary of the Schumann Declaration, which is the first, of course, uh, uh, text uh, uh, that was used for, for launching the project. There were other initiatives like the Council of Europe and so on, which, of course, had their lives on their own, which didn't lead to the, to the uh, community. They were important, but for us, uh, Ventote and Manifesto is one important milestone as well. So I would like to leave the floor now to uh, Mario Leone uh, from the Instituto uh, Spinelli. We will talk more about this, and I uh, hope that we'll have soon, the, and you, uh, everybody, will have soon the opportunity to read uh, online first the the different texts that were uh, gathered in this publication, which uh, is quite uh, innovative. And uh, I hope to have it now uh, soon. And I see that Oriol is expecting the, the hard copies for today. So we are quite happy to have it soon as well. And it will be in good place on our shelves in our li li library at the Jean Monnet House. Thank you very much. And uh, Oriol, um, uh, Mario, please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much uh, to Legian and uh, thank you uh, to Ariel too. And um, I'm very happy to be here. And um, I want to thank you uh, my, my personal experience about the manifesto and about Ventotene. And um, like me, uh, so many people have adapted uh, with uh, the Ventotene Island, uh, with the woman and the man uh, when I made the position to fascism and Nazis, and want to produce that uh, project for a free and united Europe known as the Ventotene Manifesto. I believe that uh, mm, each of us wants to adapt to those uh, women mm, that deeply uh, have led the Algeria Spinelli Institute uh, since its establishment on uh, July 4 in 1987 and experience uh, of passion and militancy. The training seminar, which uh, is its uh, 40th national edition organized by the Institute of the Lazio Region and the Ventotene Municipality and uh, also with the Ventotene citizens. Arturo Spinelli and Ventotene. I think it is an inseparable pay. Uh, the author of Manifesto with Ernesto Rossi and the collaboration of Eugenio Colonia and many others 
starting with uh, Ursula Hirschman and Adarossi, uh, we discussed it uh, clandestinely and forcing the isolation is always present on the island. Uh, Spinelli who died in Rome on May 23, 1986, wants to rest on the island. Uh, they were with it, with it ashes uh, is in the small cemetery road to Winston on June 7th by his wife uh, Ursula and daughter Barbara, uh, by the companions uh, of action by Pier Virgilio d'Astoli, Luciano Bolis, Gabriele Panizio representing the Lazio region, and by representatives of the European Federalist Movement and Welcome upon Rail in Bento Dene by Benemino Verde. Um, the strait of Spinelli action was such as it contributed to making this island famous. Spinelli records in his memories, if Ventotene has left an indelible mark on me, I have also marked it myself. The Ventotene Manifesto has made the name of the island previously obscure, known throughout Europe among those who carry out or study the movement towards unity. A plaque at the entrance to the town hall reminds us that our fist appeal to act for the European Federation started there. Uh, in made their first trip uh, to Ventotene, uh, Spinelli on July 13, uh, 1939. After being sentenced by the Fascist Special Court and after having served 10 years in prison, and a two-year confinement in Ponza. Uh, when I approached um, federalist history, um, I was overwhelmed by the power of fiction, uh, who always feel ready to show the way. Uh, the two masters of Altiero, of the mind, Ernesto Rossi, and of the soul, Eugenio Colorni, uh, looking for a solution to exasperate the nationalism, to discovery of a system that would guarantee international peace in continuing terms. Um, it is an explosion of freedom. Uh, the one of those forces to the confino did not have, and Spinelli's consideration returned. The conclusion that I cannot escape is that it if for nothing in the world I would want to renounce my freedom, if I defend it in myself against the walls of stones and against those of ideas which surround me, if I agreed to destroy so much of myself for it, I must also want it for my neighbor. The manifesto was the meeting point uh, between two complementary vision of Altiero Spinelli and Ernesto Rossi. Altiero Spinelli is interested in freedom of the individual and the, of society, but also for the idea that, that this struggle could not stop at the borders where socialism were, was built, uh, being built. Ernesto Rossi criticism of capitalism, trade unionism, uh, communism and its project to abolish misery by grafting a piece of a communist economic constitution into market economy. The conversion to democracy had led Altiero Spinelli to understand that political action should have as its objective to the use of power in the service of freedom and that the nation state was the enemy of the freedom. Artiero Spinelli was a perfect aware to the fact uh, that the Federalist culture was alien uh, to the political culture existing in the European countries that would emerge from the war trying to restore national democracies. Despite the universalist or, or origin of the Christian moments, internationalist of the socialist and communist parties and cosmopolitan of the forces of liberal inspiration. Uh, he knew that mm, these same parties were by no account to man, by costume and tradition to pose all the problem, mm, all the problems starting uh, from the tacit assumption of the existence of the national state 
and to consider the problems of the international order as a matter of a foreign policy, policy and to be resolved through diplomatic and agreement between various governments. However, it is a confidence that the idea of the European Federation related to world federation would present itself at the end of the war as a, an achievable goal, almost at the end, and that forces from all social classes will be interested in it. To the diplomatic path, Arturo Spinelli contrasts what has been called uh, into the manifesto the revolutionary path of popular agitation, provoking action states that have no longer been possible to go back. Um, it is the first time wrote uh, Altiero Spinelli presented the manifesto in uh, 1944 that the problem of the European Federation arises on the carpet of the political struggle, not a distant idea, but as an urgent tragic, tragic necessity. So that the path that came by the new democracies is born on the Second World War was not the demolition of national sovereignties, but the reconstruction um, of national states, uh, and but within the limit uh, and within the framework of the process of community integration, uh, starting the little Europe of six, according to the reflectionist model uh, conceived by Chamonix, who uh, to the goal of creating a federal state had play, replaced the whole new one. Uh, of supernationality. Finally, there is a statement of Artiero Spinelli on um, the three reasons for the relevance of the manifesto, uh, which were so in the 1980s uh, on the eve of the great upheaval caused for, by the fall uh, of the Soviet Empire and still are today. Uh, the third to lay the foundation on the continental European Federation belongs to the current generation and not to a definite generation distant in time. The action to carry it uh, out requires a vast mobilization on public opinion, but above uh, all movement organized according to a revolutionary logic. And the uh, uh, dividing line between political culture no longer passes between right and left between conservation and progress, but between those uh, who defend the apparent national sovereign and those we are uh, ready to fight for a superior European sovereign, that is between immobilizers and innovators. Altiero Spinelli and Ursula Hirschman, companions in life and federalist commitment, left the Ventotene and separated after the adventure of manifesto and uh, she left it at the end of the 1941, and he left in August 1943, after the fall uh, of Mussolini with the end of anti-Nist Federalist, uh, thinking with the supranational political action for the United States of Europe. Altiero and Ursula returned together in Ventotene for the first time uh, since in 1973. Uh, to celebrate the 30 years uh, um, of the foundation of the Italian European Mo Federalist Movement in Milan, and then in uh, October 1981 to commemorate the 40 years of the manifesto and launch the idea of transforming the island into a federalist school uh, to teach girls and boys from all over the planet to become citizens of the world. And Mondo Bolini was a journalist and friend of Spinelli. He edited his diaries for the Italian edition in Molino. Bolini helped organize at the request of Spinelli an event in Ventotene, uh, which uh, motivated by the celebration of the uh, 40th anniversary of Mant Ventotene Manifesto, actually wanted to be a moment of a union between the European Federalist Movement and the constituent action uh, that Spinelli was carrying out to the European Parliament with the crocodile uh, plan. I would like to remember the pages of diaries edited by Paulini and written by Spinelli 
on 10 and 11 October um, 1981, because in my opinion, uh, they are among the many death return a deep bond that was born in Ventodena during the confinement. We hugged with Ursula when we arrived while going up from the port to the church square, where 42 years ago we met for the first time and we went to lunch together with Renata, born from Hirschman's marriage with Colorni in the apartment that uh, was the canteen of which I was director and uh, I was their son. Ursula came and we said goodbye, thinking that uh, it could be forever and that we had never told each other uh, anything we want to tell each other. In Ventodene, Altiero Spinelli proposed on uh, 10 uh, in October, in 1981 to transform the island into a permanent political school for young federalist militants, just as it has happened in the party school. After the death of Altiero Spinelli, the Italian organization on federalist inspiration, Italian federalist movement, uh, European movement, uh, with the support of the Lazio region and the Ventodene municipality and the province of Latina, um, created the institute named after him, which is in the same center for reflection, training, awareness, and dissemination of federalist thought. The Altiero Spinelli Institute has become in Italy the essential part of the work table and coordination of European activities, activities on the um, island, which have been enriched with cultural events and have facilitated the involvement um, of all the people of Ventodenesi and in Europe in the framework of the networks of the 60, I think uh, so much now, houses of the great Europeans, which has been coordinated for many years by the European Parliament of the Maison Chamonix. I want to thank the Maison for the great work it is doing to support the ideal of a free and united Europe the ideal of a Ventotene Manifesto. Allow me to close this report with some words of Colorni, uh, which we always accompany, accompany me, and which contain all the sensation of what, the time, and uh, I am lucky enough to live even today during the Ventotene Seminar. Love as the most serious and important in our life, as that uh, which brings us closer to another being, uh, forgetting about uh, ourselves and wishing that it lies in its essence that is profoundly different from us. I don't want to be mentioned or mentioned public publicly at all. I'm only fond of the thought of continuing to mingle for some time with my friend's conversation, to those conversations that have perhaps constituted the purest joy of my life. These are the words used by Colorni and the way of drum up on May 2, 1943. Colorni was wanted by a group of fascists and died in agony on May 13, 1944. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, Mario, for this overview on the, all the process that led to the manifesto made or started in Bentotene, which as uh, said by Felipe and myself, it was one of the pillars of the nowadays um, Federalist Union. Okay, so thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to 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 work with uh, partners from different uh, countries. Uh, Philippe, I don't know if you want to add something before giving the floor to our colleagues for the last panel. Yes, just uh, something that I forgot, of course, to mention that we uh, uh, also organize uh, webinars uh, this year, a cycle of uh, three webinars which are available uh, on the internet, if you want to to access them, we can uh, provide the 
the addresses and they were uh, a cycle um, uh, with focus on the uh, treaty of the of paris of 1951 which was the first uh, uh, european treaty which created the first community of coal and steel and uh, it, this during this uh, cycle we talked about of course the commemoration of the treaty but of also of the current uh, uh, policy in Europe uh, on the subject of energy. And we also mentioned the future with the Green Deal and we try to uh, analyze whether the method, uh, Jean Monnet's method of the small step could be uh, maybe uh, uh, renewed and adapted now for uh, uh, going further into our, our common policies and especially uh, what con concern environment uh, and energy. So this is something, of course, it's in French, but if uh, you want to access it, uh, the, the, it's available on the, on the way. So thank you very much again for the organization. Thank you, Ariel. So thank you. And we give the floor to Deborah Righetti, Marcus Pruch, and Aurora Linkai for the last uh, table. Thank you all.